Welcome to Reloading from the Hot Pot. Here, I like to do good gun, gear, and accessory reviews, plus share a little bit about my life. If you're not subscribed, please consider giving a subscribe below, turn the bell notification on, always give a like, and please share. Welcome back, my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Today, we're gonna take another look at the Walker's Bluetooth hearing protection. I purchased these as a replacement set to another set of mine that had gone AWOL on me. Well, the company did fix that and sent me another pair, which was very good of them. Uh, I think I've got a video on here about those. Those are the Axle uh, 2.0s. Very, very nice hearing protection. But for the purpose I need some hearing protection and Bluetooth, I wanted something a little bit different, something easier to get in and out of my ears while I'm at work because I do have to talk to people on occasion about the orders coming in and the parts that I'm running. So another YouTube brother of mine purchased a set of walkers, but he did not get the Bluetooth models. This is the Walker Bluetooth headset models. Now they're a little bit dirty on the ends there. I have been wearing these at work. And because of the ease of getting them in and out, just plucking them in and out, instead of the entire cord being wrapped around your ear like the axles are, I thought these would work a lot better. And they do. There is some, uh, there's pros to them. Uh, they've got great volume in them. Um, the music gives you really good bass. The sound suppression works really, really good. They are easy to get in and out of my ears, so if I do need to talk to anyone, uh, I do not have a problem. I can pluck one out, talk to you, put it back in my ear, and go about my business. Go about making that ching-ching. There are some downsides to this, though. Uh, the Bluetooth is only good for about four hours, and then they have to be charged. They will die on you after four hours of Bluetooth usage. My other ones, uh, they'll go for eight to 10 hours on Bluetooth. I've pushed them up to about 11 hours by shutting them off during lunchtime. The sound suppression on here uh, only lasts for between five and a half to six hours. And I've tested this, I've kept them on and they have just died right out. So the battery life on these is not very good. So if you were shooting an event that say you had to be, you know, first shots at 9 a.m. And you're going to be there until 4 p.m. You're going to lose your hearing. <laughs> you're going to lose your hearing protection. So you're going to have to have another backup set with you. So I would not, would not recommend these to take to the range for any type of competitive use because you're going to be wearing these all day. They are comfortable. But the next part of it is this cord here. If you've got these on and you're listening to your Bluetooth or you got sound suppression, if this cord rubs anything, it amplifies through the speakers in these. <laughs> Very annoying because I have to turn my head while I'm at work. So every time I do, I hear coming through them. Super annoying. They were cost effective. Uh, I got these for under $100 shipped to the door. They're pretty well built. Uh, they are walkers, you know, as it says on here. So they do have you know, a good reputation for quality. But the battery life on these could be a lot better. Um, they could, I don't see why they couldn't easily double it with today's technology. Instead of four hours of Bluetooth, I'd like to have eight so I can wear them all day at work. Instead of five and a half to six hours of, of noise suppression, um, I'd like to be able to have them to wear I've got, you know, four, six, seven hours, um, possibly eight hours on the range shooting, and these are going to die. So they're, they're no good after that. After that, you've just got earplugs in. So why not just wear earplugs to begin with? <laughs> That's my point on them. But if you're interested in them, they are really good. They are comfortable. They're easy in and out. The downside is the battery life is very short. And this cord, if it rubs on anything, amplifies through the earbuds, the little speakers in here. Not happy with that. 
I like them over my axles because I do not, if I have to take them off to talk to somebody at work, I do not have to unwind it from around my ear and pluck it out. And I got, I got dirty gloves on, so it's, it's kind of not so convenient. I end up with black ears, <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of funny in itself, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Work is work. Like I said, you can see the dirt on there, you know, from me taking these in and out compared to the rest of the cord. Quite a, quite a different contrast on there. But before you buy these, watch this video. Um, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to buy them for a specific purpose, be sure that your purpose is only going to allow you to have your Bluetooth music in um, or listening to any kind of podcast limited to four hours before they're going to die. Oh, the next thing I don't like about these is it has the old type USB connector in there, the micro USB. So almost everything else is taking the C now, the C type. I'm an Android fan. So I've had Android since Androids have come out. Yes, I'm that old. I've had cell phones since they came out. Portable cell phones. I didn't go for the car stuff. But you're going to have to have a special cord with this outside of your phone charger. I like my other set of axles because it takes the Type C. And my so does my phone. So I can charge either with the same cord. No matter where I'm at. I don't have to carry two around. I, I carry one around. I, I like that idea. So, like I said, overall, uh, scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give these a 4. Um, just because of the cons to it. The pros are, they're easy in and out. So if you're in a work environment, that's fine. But if you're going to use these at the range, I would definitely recommend something else. I would not recommend taking these to a shooting event like a USPSA, IDPA, three gun, steel challenge, whatever your flavor may be. I would not recommend it. Um, I would go with the axles if you want the, the, the commercial type, you know, just earbud um, hearing protection. Otherwise, get you a custom set made, um, something that's going to last you 10, 12 hours. Uh, now you're talking some buck bucks. Um, I looked into it and I decided to go this route instead of spending the buck bucks because it was more buck bucks than a pew pew to get custom hearing protection made, electronic hearing protection, <laughs> custom fit for your ears. So that's all I got to say about this. I know it's only been about two, two and a half weeks since I've gotten these in, but I want to share with you my experience on them uh, for now. I'm going to continue to use them. Um, I charge them on my lunch hour. Got a little little charging station I've set up in the back of the warehouse at a plug-in. So when I take them off, I put them back on the charger, and normally they last me the rest of the day. But by four o'clock, they're screaming battery low, battery low, battery low. So that's my opinion and my personal experience with the Walker Bluetooth headsets. All right, my pupils, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. Please give a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Share the video. Share my channel with your friends. Just share everything. Be the sharing kind. <laughs> All right, my pupils, thank you very much for watching. Always remember to keep blowing the smoke.